All right, so I'm going to be doing five videos for you here, um, and they're going to be the five things that make JavaScript super weird, uh, but also that make JavaScript awesome. These are five of the most misunderstood or barely understood or not even understood things about JavaScript. Uh, they're going to be very useful, very, very useful if you're new to JavaScript. And, and honestly, lots of intermediate developers still don't grasp these things very well. So we're going to be covering them. Uh, I'm going to do a video on each so you can rewatch it. They build on each other. Um, for the most part, they all build on each other. And so you want to rewatch it till you kind of get it. Uh, and then move on with each one. So let's get into the first one. Uh, one of the first things that makes JavaScript weird is first class functions. What this means is that functions can be passed as arguments. And if you don't understand it, you're not going to understand why a lot of the JavaScript, uh, JavaScript syntax is the way it is. Let me show it to you in code. It's a lot more easy, you know, a lot easier to understand. Uh, let's go make a function called add. Uh, first, second. Um, and all this is going to do is console.log first plus second. All right, there we go. And let's do something. Let's go add 2 plus 3. Let's add 4 plus 5. Let's hit save. And there we go. I don't know if that's big enough for you. Uh, but we, we console log 2 plus 3. And we console logged 4 plus 5. Now let's add a third one called callback. Um, and this is something you see a ton in jQuery or whatever. The optional last argument is a callback function to fire when it's done. And so let's create a function here. Um, and this one we will console log done. So there we go. And now I need to do something with callback here. So I'll go callback. And I'm going to actually fire it when I'm done with my addition here. So what I've done is I've given argument 1 and 2 are numbers. Argument 3 is a function I'm creating right now. Um, and I'm passing that function up here. It's not firing yet. It's being passed as an argument that add is going to hold on to. It's going to do everything it needs to do, which in this case is just addition. And then it's going to fire that function later as a callback. Uh, let me show you what this is going to do. So now it's going to say... It's going to console log 2 plus 3, and then it's going to console log done. So let me actually create another one here. And this is going to console log done again. So this is going to do the exact same thing. It doesn't care what your callback function is. It's just going to fire it when you're done. So it's going to console log 2 plus 3, done. Console log 4 plus 5, and then it's going to fire my other function again. And so that is what it means to pass a function. Uh, a function is a first class um, object. Uh, and so here's kind of another w way to look at it is a function is basically a variable. I can go function um, uh, log done. And that will console log done. There we go. And so now I can actually pass log done. And let's go ahead and mute that guy. So there you go. Exact same thing. I'm creating a function here called log done. I'm passing it as if it was a variable because to JavaScript, it is a variable. Um, and so I'm passing log done in. It's going to get, it's now going to be associated as callback and it'll get fired whenever. And honestly, in jQuery, uh, what you're actually seeing is something more like this. If callback then fire callback. So that way you don't have to pass callback. I can just do console log 4, 5 here. There you go. So now it's going to do 2 plus 3. Fire the callback because it exists. Fire 4 plus 5. And don't fire the callback because it doesn't exist. Um, and so that's kind of a little bit closer to what's going on. It's more complicated than that. But if you want to build your own callbacks, that's a nice way to make them optional. Um, and so that's what it means for them to be first class functions. So in jQuery, when you're doing stuff like my div, uh, click function, you're actually creating a function right there that you're passing to the click. And it's not going to do anything with it until the click event fires. Um, and that's why you can also go uh, function handle click. You know, do something smart there. Something smart. 
um, and then you can actually go handle click and that looks a lot cleaner there that's a lot of cleaner way to do a lot of your jQuery um, and that kind of leads us into uh, video number two which is event driven environment let's get into that